Coin6 is watching out for you as gas prices continue to spike across the country amid ongoing sanctions against Russia. Emma Jerome is live this morning with more on how the price you pay at the pump in the Pacific Northwest compares to the rest of the nation. Emma, we're usually a bit higher than the average. Is that trend continuing? That trend is continuing, Emily and Ken. Right now, the average price of a regular gallon of gas in Portland is about 476. That's only a couple cents higher than the rate of an average tank of or an average gallon of gas in the state of Oregon. The average price for a gallon of gas in the United States right now is $4.32. 40 cents higher is what you'll find here in Oregon, and it's comparable for Washington State as well. Unprecedented times. That's what we have heard almost every day for the past two years during this pandemic, and they continue with these gas prices just in a completely different way. That's because Russia is in the top three category of world producers of oil. Here in the States, we only get about 3% of our oil from Russia. So why is that hurting so much at the pump? Marie Dodds with AAA says Russia invading Ukraine was just the first domino to tip in the story of how we got here. Things are changing, you know, hour by hour, if not minute by minute. But the bottom line is Russia is a major oil producer, one of the top three producers in the world, along with the U.S. and Saudi Arabia. And any time that amount of oil gets taken off the global markets, it's a supply and demand issue. She says we have seen oil prices back off a little bit because other nations have announced that they will release part of their oil supply. She also said that that's not a sign that we will continue to see a downward trend in prices. It just means that oil prices have backed off a little bit. She says the situation right now is so volatile that it's impossible to predict what even the gas price situation will look like tomorrow, let alone next week or a couple weeks from now. So it's just something we're going to have to continue to track to see if it will change and if it will change when. Reporting live in Northwest Portland this morning, Emma Jerome, Coin 6 News.